lorry drivers, back wheels on fire, something like that. Right, might yeah. just be trying to uh, uh, alert them to that. Yeah. Um, any sort of offence, no, we wouldn't, we can't, we've got no powers to do that. So it's really only for safety critical incidents, anything like that. Traffic officer. All yeah. oh, right, okay. Do you know? Um, I wasn't expecting to see you there. I was just expecting to uh, get some footage from the front gate. Right. I'm here to do a quick video about uh, traffic officers. I'm just going to take some footage at the front gate. Do you know the Traffic Management Act 2004? Yeah. That's where your powers come from, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So y you've got the power to stop a, a vehicle and like. Um, if anybody breaches your roadblock and stuff like that, that's yeah. a, a criminal offence, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. So, you, just just give me an example, right? When would you actually put your lights on to stop a vehicle? So, so you, you've got powers to actually pull people over, right? Only in extreme circumstances. Yeah. So See, that would be for a safety concern, for so example. What's the footage for, sorry? It's for that. my YouTube channel. Right. I'm just trying to educate people how, obviously, a police constable overrides your power, Absolutely. but you have got some powers. Basically, they're around traffic flow. Uh, but if a pedestrian walks into a roadblock that you've set up, you can tell the pedestrians to stop as well. Yeah. So you have got some powers there that you... Stop not... and direct vehicles. Yeah. Stop and direct vehicles. Um, we can't stop, detain people. Um, but if there's a vehicle, so we're stopping a vehicle during a rolling roadblock, um, which is partly stopping and directing uh, um, vehicles for traffic management. Um, people know we've got no powers or rights to stop. Um, if so, if they're walking into a scene or a dangerous area, we do need the support from the police. Yeah, well, you, you do have you do actually have power to stop a pedestrian going into an area where you've put a roadblock. So if you've put a roadblock on, and a, mostly on motorways, you don't get it, do you? Because people, but do you know if they if they did walk in, yeah. the Traffic Management Act does cover pedestrians going into an area that you've sealed off. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but what I'm what I'm focusing on is you've actually got a power to tell a vehicle to stop. You put your lights on yeah. and you indicate with your hand, pull over, and then they would go to the next safest place. Correct. But. What instance? So say like if you spot something hanging off, like an exhaust hanging off, for example. It would be a major safety concern. So the vehicle was in an un, unsafe condition, which poses a risk to uh, the rest of the customers out there or the, or the driver themselves. Let's talk, for example, lorry drivers, back wheels on fire, something like that. Right, might yeah. just be trying to uh, uh, alert them to that. Yeah. Um, any sort of offence, no, we wouldn't, we can't. We've got no powers to do that. So it's really only for safety critical incidents, anything. Yeah, your initiative would kick in to say, I've got to do something here, else something yeah, where back. We, where we feel that there's yeah. a risk yeah. to uh, life or property. Do your vehicles have ANPR on at all? Right, okay. So it's not cases of like no tax, no MOT or anything like that. It, it's simply your visual check and you can see something, a danger that's imminent, basically. Correct, yeah. yeah, okay. That's pretty much covered it. Um, you're based at, at buildings that monitor the cameras on the network. Correct. So. Does this building here monitor cameras? D does it control the gantry signs? Not here, no. Uh, so that's all done from the regional operation centres. There's seven of them in the country. Seven? Uh, seven. Right. Um, so we've got one for the East Midlands, one for the West Midlands, one for the South East, South West, etc. Et right. Um, and they're the ones that control all the cameras. Okay. Uh, and, the, and, uh, and the regional message signs, the regional red X's, lane closures, that sort of stuff. And then the National Operation Centre sets all the strategic and tactical signs from down the country. Right, okay, okay. Do you know, for example, the Shep Shed one, does that control cameras from there? No, no, none of the, none of the outstations, they're just depots for the traffic officers. So it's, it's, a, it's a local base, really. So we, you know, where we report to where we get the vehicles from, where, where the officers are. But the main control room, that's where everything is done. Right, okay. So uh, are you in, in direct communication with these seven regional control centres? Yeah, through uh, the airwave radio, yeah. Do you know the orange phones that are dotted around? Yes. Are those linked to the control centres or here? No, the control centres. Right, okay. Yeah. So basically, you're, you're sitting here resting, waiting for them to contact you? Uh, for, for me, for a manager role, I'm, I'm uh, a little bit different. For the guys, when they're on the road, they're in strategic places looking, waiting. So to avoid endless driving up and down um, we do a certain amount of tactical patrolling looking for broken down customers that might need our assistance 
but we also strategically position ourselves where we're the best place to respond to an incident. Yeah, yeah. So that be they could be parked up at a service area or a junction, somewhere there they've got access in all directions to get to an incident as quickly as possible. Obviously while complying with all of the uh, you know the highway code and policies because we can't we can't uh, speed or go through traffic lights or anything like you're that. You're not allowed to go faster than the limit just to get to somewhere that you're you're needed. Yeah. Right, I didn't know that. Whereas the police are, aren't they? So yeah, okay. So really, it is just simply that Traffic Management Act 2004. Then that's where the most of your powers come from, and you've got nothing else. That see, do you know the Driving Stand Driver Vehicle Standards Agency? They're pretty much similar vehicles, aren't they? Um, some of them are. Yeah, I mean, um, they have they have the powers to pull over vehicles for stop checks. They've got powers to detain vehicles if they're unsafe and stuff like that. Yeah. But a completely different branch, really. We're more about traffic management. Yeah. Road road safety incident management where uh, they're looking for you know usually commercial vehicles and things like that yeah yeah you, you have just recently got some powers that enable you to get recovery of a vehicle oh, we've had that for a long long time yeah well you didn't have it from the start did you not right away no but we've had it for well, 10 12 years maybe. yeah um and that is a uh, where we can recover vehicles that are causing a, a, an obstruction or they're blocking a a, a running lane and that's from the removal and disposal of vehicles act yeah 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 i think we've pretty much covered it then only one other thing um, recently the name changed from highways england to national highways didn't it yes um obviously you, you, even your work where it says highways england yes. it is the the goal to change all the branding on the vehicles yeah uh, it's it's a slow rollout so um, most people know it was still as Highways England. Some people still refer to us as Highways Agency. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just a slow rollout. Yeah. So rebranding will take however long it takes. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have spotted one of your vehicles at Shepshed when I was there yesterday, and he has got uh, National Highways on there already. There's a couple, and some of, some of the newer fleet are going to get rebranded over the next couple of months. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a slow roll. You know what? I'm really glad that I've met you because, as I say, when I went to Shepshed yesterday, I tend to stay on the outside. I don't want to interfere. But just a little, little bit of interaction that will educate my viewers. That's all I'm after. Which YouTube channel are you? It's called DJ Audits. DJ Audits. It's like Auditing Britain, but I'm a little bit smaller. I've got about 22,000 subscribers. He's got like 160,000. Right. So, yeah, we go to random places, get a little bit of interaction and I also provide a bit of information because most people wouldn't actually know what powers you've got. Now a lot of them don't, a lot of, them, a, lot of them, a lot of customers still don't really understand what we do until they meet us. Yeah. You know, so it gives us an opportunity, we try to meet people when they could be, um, you know, they, they, they're going through a difficult time, they've had an accident or an incident or a breakdown, it's stressful, you know, anyone that breaks down has an incident or a motor, it's a stressful occasion. So we're there to try and help them, yeah. uh, and that is our main game. Keep the motorways running, keep keep it safer, keep it smoother. Has a massive impact on the on the economy, obviously, with with uh, yeah. with roads being closed. So we're we're there just to try and make everyone's journey that little bit smoother and safer. Yeah. And do you record everything that you do with your onboard CCTV? Um, it's running all the time, but it, it overrides itself after seven days. So seven days. It's there for. It's there for support for uh, an incident, prosecution, our safety, primarily. Yeah. Do you need to get that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Pleasure meeting you. Would you like to say your name for the camera? Uh, I'd rather not. Yeah, no problem. No problem. People are going to love you. Thank you. So there you go. How much information did we just soak up there? And it turns out the first person we see to come out of the fire exit was the manager. And it answered every single one of my questions because I had wondered about these traffic officers and I did a little bit of research. I know about the Traffic Management Act 2004 and that's what the, uh, the base looks like. So a very secure gate. Vehicles have just come out, so it's still closing. They've still got the Highways England sign, but obviously it's now National Highways and this is the Anstey Depot. And they're very hot on the health and safety as shown by all the signs. And it's also a maintenance compound where you'll see they've got the uh, the big gritting hanger where it's got all the salt in there. And it's the base that they will easily be able to access to keep the main roads running freely. And you've got the, um, the vehicle there that responds and closes lanes uh, when an accident has occurred, the emergen emergency response vehicle. 
And that's the view of the back of the hangar where they store all the, the grit or salt, whatever you call it. So yeah, these are strategically placed all around the, uh, near the motorway junctions. This one's at the start of the M69 in Coventry. And they're ready to respond, you know, to any uh, emergency call. And as you heard there, they're also strategically uh, sitting on the network, waiting for the next uh, emergency to arise. So yeah, a nice little one there for you. Just to give you a bit more information about what these traffic officers do. They've got no power of arrest. They can't detain anybody, but they can certainly direct and control vehicles. And if they have put a block on, you cannot walk into their block. They've closed that section of the road and they can control pedestrian movement, as shown on screen just there. Here's another one parked up round the back. They even have the defibrillators inside. And obviously that LED panel there will say stop or pull over. And they've got the uh, tow bar, which they use to pull vehicles out of the way if required. But there's three, three of them here, ready to respond. Even got a BMW parked over there. Very fancy. Traffic officer. So that's it from this base. We'll have one last shot of a traffic officer vehicle so you know what it looks like. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.